celebrating those wins along the way is like stoking the fire. It's encouragement to your brain to keep moving forward. It you know triggers and fires up all those pleasure centers in your brain that tells it, yes, keep going forward, keep putting forth this effort, keep working towards this goal. This is great, this is good. Hey everyone, welcome to the Nourished and Thriving Show. I'm your host, Katie Lovett. I'm a registered dietitian on a mission to help you increase your impact and legacy on the world while healing your gut and reducing your IBS symptoms. I'm so grateful to have you here. Each week, I'll inspire you to live vibrantly and provide valuable resources and information that empowers you to take bold action towards your health goals. Before we dive in, make sure you follow or subscribe to my show wherever you're listening so you never miss an episode. Ready? Let's go! Hey guys! All right, so today we are going to do some celebrating. We do not celebrate enough, I don't think. I tend to be a little bit of a high achiever, and if you're listening to me because you really relate to what I say and what I talk about, I would wager that you are a bit of a high achiever as well. And high achievers tend to not celebrate their wins because we are already so focused on the next thing. Or we tend to be a little bit perfectionistic or just have very high standards. I am very guilty of saying, I'm not a perfectionist. I know nobody's perfect and nothing's ever perfect, but I want to be pretty darn close (laughs) to being perfect, right? It's like, oh, of course I don't expect perfection. I just expect it to be excellent. (laughs) Tell me if that's something that you really resonate with. And so, you know, if it's not excellent or if it's something that we feel like, hmm, there could have been a little bit of improvement here. You know, it's like we're grading ourselves on something. We tend to not celebrate it, right? We're like, meh, not that big of a deal. Or if it's something that's excellent that came easy to us, we don't celebrate that because it was easy. We didn't have to work at it. We're like, meh, it's fine. It wasn't that big of a deal. And so we tend to not celebrate. So tell me if that's you, either like onto the next thing, something wasn't good enough to celebrate, or you know it didn't require enough effort to be worthy of a celebration, even if it was really awesome. You know, tell me if you fall into one of those camps, if you find yourself guilty of those. But celebrating is something that I have really worked on prioritizing more in my own life in this past year. It's really important. And it's really important on like a neuroscience level when we're training our brains because it re-emphasizes that we want to do more of that thing. So celebrating a win on the path towards accomplishing a goal, for example, like healing your hot mess gut or whatever health goal you may have for yourself or a financial goal or a relationship goal, Celebrating those wins along the way is like stoking the fire. It's encouragement to your brain to keep moving forward. It you know triggers and fires up all those pleasure centers in your brain that tells it, yes, keep going forward, keep putting forth this effort, keep working towards this goal. This is great, this is good. So celebrating wins is something that's really important. And celebrating wins whenever we're healing our hot mess gut is important too. And So I wanted to ask you guys, and I wanted you to spend a couple of minutes thinking today, what does a win look like? I know a lot of people, whenever we first start working together, expect the win to be 100% reduction in symptoms and never having to worry about their gut again. That would be amazing, right? I really hope that that happens for you. I have helped over 100 people reduce their gut symptoms by 80 to 90%. I said I have excellent standards and expectations, and so that is one of those too. I really expect for people, whenever they start working with me, to see a significant reduction in symptoms and transformation in how they're showing up in their lives, and that's wonderful. But it doesn't just go there overnight. It takes time. Sometimes people get that 80 to 90% reduction in symptoms from a really simple adjustment, And they see that improvement in just a couple of weeks. 
others, they see 60% improvement. And then there's a couple of things still hanging out that need to be explored and examined as we get to them. And so it may take a few months for them to hit that 90% improvement mark, but we are working towards that. And it's important that as you work towards that, you celebrate the wins along the way because that helps encourage you to keep moving forward. It helps show you the improvement and what's going on. And it helps you know what's working and what's not working, right? We've talked about, go back and listen to the episode about the short-sighted action taker. If you haven't listened to that, I'll link it in the show notes here for you. But short-sighted action is one of the six stages of gut rehab that I've noticed that everybody goes through on their journey to heal their hot mess gut, whether they're working with me or on their own or with another healthcare provider, everyone tends to kind of go through this path. And the short-sighted action taker, everyone takes short-sighted action whenever you're healing your gut because we don't know all the answers. I don't have a crystal ball and see your entire gut health journey mapped out as we're starting out. I use my wisdom and learning and skill set and you use your knowledge of yourself and your symptoms and your body and we marry the two together and we decide what the next best step is. And then we see what happens, we evaluate, and then we decide what the next best step is. So we're taking short-sighted action, right? Like all we can see is what we can see right now in front of us. And then we learn more as we move through it together. If you are on your own and um, not working with me, you're working on with healing your gut on your own, or maybe with a different provider who has a different approach, they may have one signature approach, or you may be reading one book that says it's the key to healing your gut. And you do what's in this book and you're going to change your life and you're going to heal your gut and it's going to be awesome. You're taking short-sighted action. You just don't realize it because you're putting all your chips in that basket and you're hoping to take this action that it's going to be the answer and you're you know sure of it because that's the promise. But you don't know all the information when you're starting out on that journey. So how can you possibly have all the answers? So as you are taking the short-sighted action, looking for the wins to celebrate is helpful to know that you're on the right path. And then if there truly aren't wins or things are getting worse because you're looking for them and you're not seeing any wins or things are getting worse, you know like, hey, the short-sighted action that we're taking is not the action for me. So we're missing something. We need to consider a different path. We need to do something else. But if you're just fully blindly trusting this approach without examining it along the way, you're gonna go a lot farther down that path without results or with worsening of your symptoms, but you're just so sure that it's gonna work, you're not changing things or adjusting things as early as you could otherwise. I hope that that's clear for you guys. So I wanted to just share what do wins look like whenever you're on the path of healing your hot mess gut, of rehabbing your gut, whatever you want to call it. What do those wins look like and how do you know how to recognize them? Because it's really easy to see the big wins, right? At work, you got the big promotion. You know, you hit a big financial investment goal or a sales goal or you paid off the mortgage on your home or, you know, stuff like that. It's easy to see the finish line. It's easy to see when, oh, I went to a restaurant, ate whatever I want, had zero blood zero GI discomfort afterwards, my gut is completely better. I'm completely resilient and I'm, you know, not going to have to worry with this anymore. And it's easy to spot, but how do you spot the things along the way? So I wanted to give you guys a few ideas of, of what that might look like. And this is not by any means an exhaustive list, but in, in gut rehab, I have the six segments of, of gut health, of optimal gut health. And each segment is a module in the curriculum of my gut rehab program. So we have mindset, we have sleep and rest, we have digestion, absorption, elimination, we have nutrition and hydration, we have environmental toxin exposure, and we have exercise and movement. So each of those areas, each of those segments, I have lemons, so it's like a slice of a lemon, and each little segment is a different area. They they all contribute to our overall health and well-being as well as our gut health because we are connected beings, right? Our bodies, minds, and spirits, we're all connected. We are systems of systems. And so if one thing is off, everything is off. And so looking for wins in all of these areas 
helps us to know if we're making progress towards our goal. Maybe you're just as bloated as you were before and having diarrhea or you're constipated, but you're not having to take a nap in the middle of the day and your psoriasis has gotten a whole lot better. That's progress forward right? That's progress forward. Maybe you're constipated and you're still having to take magnesium every single night, but you're not taking as much as you were three months ago. And you're still, you know, it's helping you go to the bathroom and and you're not having to take as much as you were. That's progress, right? Your gut is more like sensitive. It's more responsive to that magnesium. And so we're making progress in have having normal bowel movements again. Um, maybe if you're more on like the diarrhea side of things, maybe you're having fewer bathroom trips a day or there's less urgency involved where you feel safe to leave your home to go to the grocery store for the first time in years. I've had people like that where, you know, if that's you, my heart really goes out to you and I can, I can help you a lot, but maybe you're, you're able to go out of your home because you're, you're doing better. That's progress forward. If you're eating at a restaurant, maybe you're eating at a restaurant for the first time in a long time because you were scared to go before. Maybe you're going in and you're having less anxiety around the food choices and you're not stressing out about what you can choose or not choose. Maybe you've increased the number of foods you can tolerate. I've had people come to me saying, Katie, I can eat five foods without triggering my gut symptoms and that's it. I'm scared to eat anything else. Maybe we got you to six foods. That's progress forward and that is worth celebrating. So those are all some ideas of of that, of what wins can look like while you're healing your gut. Which of these resonated with you? Have you noticed any of these wins in your own life and you just weren't aware of it being a win because you hadn't really thought about it or you hadn't been looking for it before? Let me know. And then the next step is how are you going to celebrate that win? Are you going to stand up and turn on your favorite song and do a little happy dance? I think you should. Are you going to have a favorite cup of tea? Are you going to go for a walk or sit on the back patio and read your book? Are you going to go buy a new plant for your garden? It's the winter, so kind of the wrong time to be gardening, but here in Texas, (laughs) weather's crazy. Maybe you're going to plan your garden for spring. Maybe you'll take a little weekend trip if it's a big win. It doesn't have to be a huge celebration for these little progress forward wins, but just acknowledging the progress will help you to not grow weary of the journey because sometimes it is quite the journey. Sometimes it can go on for months or years, but noticing that you're making continued progress forward makes the journey worthwhile and makes it worth it. It's like we drove to Florida over Thanksgiving and seeing those mile marker numbers go down. It was like a 12 or 13 hour drive with our kids. We went overnight. It was very tiring. They did great. But seeing the mile markers and the number of hours go down on our GPS on the car or on the side of the road, is it keeps you moving forward, right? I was driving the like 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. shift, which I think is the most difficult part of a night drive because it's just the dead of night. And we were in like backwoods Mississippi with nothing, like trees and no lights, but seeing like, okay, it's, you know, 3.30, I have, I'm halfway through my shift and then, you know, Joe will take over. He would have taken over earlier if I needed him to, but you know, it just helps you to see the progress and see, see you moving forward and keeping you motivated to keep going. Cause I know it can be really hard. It can be uncomfortable to change right? Growth and change is uncomfortable. And so, you know, recognizing those wins helps make it a little more comfortable. Share with me what your wins are. Share with me how you know you're making progress on your health goals. If you are not, if you are just in a really tough place with your gut health right now, and you're not sure what to do, and there's a lot of different people online talking about how they can help you. Um, your doctor is saying one thing, the you know Instagram influencer that you follow is saying something else, and you're you know feeling like somewhere in between, reach out and let's just have a conversation. I would love to help provide clarity. Your situation is unique to you. It's unique to your dreams, your desires, what you want out of life, what you're willing to do and not do, and of course, what's going on physically in your body. So, you know, coming up with a personalized plan, I'd love to just help you talk through that, whether you're working with me or not. I think it's just really important for you to have clarity and peace as you're making these steps to move forward because the journey can be long, you know, and we don't want it to be any longer than it needs to be. So 
Go celebrate those wins, go crank that music and do a happy dance, and we'll talk soon. Thank you so much for listening to the entire episode. I hope you are feeling inspired and empowered to take bold action towards your health goals. If you enjoy what you heard, don't forget to follow my show so you never miss a new episode. And it would mean the world to me if you left me a review so others knew what to expect from my show. Last, get in touch. Let me know what bold action you're taking. Let me know how you're inspired. Follow me on Instagram at B underscore healthy gut underscore dietitian. I've put a link in my show notes for you so you can simply click and follow. Come say hi. I respond to all my messages and I can't wait to get in touch.